वेलकम टू एडोपीडिया वर्ल्ड डॉट कॉम दिस इज सोमचा जे नायर यूर ऑनलाइन बायोलॉजी ट्यूटर द चैप्टर इज ह्यूमन हेल्थ एंड डिसीज इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द इम्यून सिस्टम इन ह्यूमन एंड वी ऑल्सो डिस्कस्ड अबाउट एड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट कैंसर एंड देन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द एडोलेसेंस एंड ड्रग अब्यूज कैंसर कैंसर इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट ड्रेडर डिजीजेस ऑफ ह्यूमन बींग्स and is a major cause of death all over the globe more than a million indians suffer from cancer and a large number of them die from it annually the mechanism that underlie development of cancer or oncogenic transformation of cells its treatment and control have been some of the most intense areas of research in biology and medicine in our body cell growth and differentiation is highly controlled and regulated in cancer cells there is breakdown of these regulatory mechanisms normal cells show a property called contact inhibition by virtue of which contact with other cells inhibit their uncontrolled growth cancer cells appear to have lost this property as a result of this cancerous cells just continue to divide giving rise to masses of cells called tumors This is a diagrammatic representation of the cell division of normal cells and the cancer cell. Here you can see that the cancer cell multiply very fastly and it does not have any apoptosis. But the normal cell, uh, when it damages, it will go for apoptosis. Benign tumors and malignant tumors. Tumors are of two types: benign and malignant. Benign tumors. normally remain confined to their original location and do not spread to other parts of the body and cause little damage the malignant tumors on the other hand are a mass of proliferating cell called neoplastic or tumor cells these cells grow very rapidly invading and damaging the surrounding normal tissues as these cells actively divide and grow they also starve the normal cells by competing for vital nutrients cells left for such tumors reach distant sites through blood and wherever they get lodged in the body they start a new tumor there this property is called metastasis and it is the most feared property of the malignant tumors here you can see the diagrammatic representation a cartoonic representation of benign tumor versus malignant tumor causes of cancer Transformation of normal cells into cancerous neoplastic cells may be induced by physical, chemical, or biological agents. These agents are called carcinogens. Ionizing radiations like X-rays and gamma rays, and non-ionizing radiations like UV, cause DNA damage, leading to neoplastic transformations. The chemical carcinogens present in tobacco smoke have been identified as a major cause of lung cancer. cancer causing viruses called oncogenic viruses have genes called viral oncogenes furthermore several genes called cellular oncogenes or proto oncogenes have been identified in normal cells which even activated under certain conditions could lead to oncogenic transformations of the cell cancer detection and diagnosis early detection of cancer is essential as it allows the disease to be treated successfully in many cases cancer detection is based on biopsy and histopathological studies of the tissue and blood and bone marrow testers for increased cell counts in the case of leukemia in biopsy a piece of suspected tissue cut into thin sections is stained and examined under microscope that is the histopathological studies by a pathologist techniques like radiography use of x rays ct computer tomography and mri magnetic resonance imaging are very useful to detect cancers of the internal organs computer tomography uses x rays to generate a three dimensional image of the internal of an object mri uses strong magnetic field and non ionizing radiations to accurately detect pathological and physiological changes in the living tissues then antibodies against cancer specific antigens are also used for detection of cancers techniques of molecular biology can be applied to detect genes in individuals with inherited 
susceptibility to certain cancers. Identification of such genes which predispose an individual to certain cancers may be very helpful in prevention of cancers. Such individuals may be advised to avoid the exposure to particular carcinogens to which they are susceptible. Example, tobacco smoke in case of lung cancer. Treatment of cancer. The common approaches for the treatment of cancer are surgery, radiation therapy and immunotherapy. In radiotherapy, tumor cells are irradiated lethally, taking proper care of the normal tissue surrounding the tumor mass. Several chemotherapeutic drugs are used to kill cancerous cells. Some of these are specific for particular tumors. Majority of the drugs have side effects like hair loss, anemia, etc. Most cancers are treated by combination of surgery, radiotherapy and chemotherapy. Tumor cells have been shown to avoid detection and destruction by immune system. Therefore, the patients are given substances called biological response modifiers such as alpha interferon which activate their immune system and help in destroying the tumors. Drug abuse. Surveys and statistics show that the uses of drugs has been on the rise especially among the youth. This is really a cause of concern and it could result in many harmful effects. Proper education and guidance would enable youth to safeguard themselves against these dangerous behavior patterns and follow healthy lifestyle. The drugs which are commonly abused are opioids, cannabinoids, coca alkaloids. Majority of these are obtained from flowering plants. Some are obtained from fungi. Opioids Opioids are the drugs which bind to specific opioid receptors present in our central nervous system and gastrointestinal tract. Heroin, commonly called SMAC, is a chemically diacetyl morphine which is a white, odorless, bitter, crystalline compound. This is obtained by acetylization of morphine which is extracted from the latex of poppy plant pepper somnifera, generally taken by snorting and injection. Heroin is a depressant and slows down bodily functions. Here you can see the chemical structure of morphine and the opium poppy plant. Cannabinoids. Cannabinoids are a group of chemicals which interact with cannabinoid receptor present principally in the brain. Natural cannabinoids are obtained from inflorescence of the plant cannabis sativa. The flower tops Leaves and resin of cannabis plants are used in various combinations to produce marijuana, hashish, charas and ganja. Generally taken by inhalation and oral ingestion, uh, these are known for their effects on cardiovascular systems of the body. Here you can see the skeletal structure of the cannabinoid molecule and there is also a picture of leaves of cannabis sativa plant. Coca alkaloid or cocaine Coca alkaloid or cocaine is obtained from coca plant erythrocylum coca native to South America. It interferes with transport of the neurotransmitter dopamine. Cocaine commonly called coke or crack is usually snorted. It has a potent stimulating action on the central nervous system producing a sense of euphoria and increased energy. Excessive dosage of cocaine causes hallucination. Here you can see the structure of the coca alkaloid and then uh, there is a picture of coca plant. Other drugs used for abuse. Other well-known plants with hallucinogenic properties are Atropa, Belladonna and Detura. Drugs like barbiturates, amphetamines, benzodiazepines, lysergic acid, di diethyl amides or LSD and other similar drugs that are normally used as medicines to help patients cope with mental illness like depression and inso mania are often abused. Morphine is a very effective sedative and painkiller and is very useful in patients who have undergone surgery. Several plants, fruits and seeds having hallucinogenic properties have been used for hundreds of years in folk medicine, religious ceremonies and rituals all over the globe. When these are taken for a purpose other than medicinal use, or in amounts of frequency that impairs one physical, physiological or psychological functions. It constitutes the drug abuse. 
smoking smoking also paves the way to hard drugs tobacco has been used by human beings for being more than 400 years it is smoked chewed or used as a snuff tobacco contains a large number of chemical substance including nicotine an alkaloid Nicotine stimulates adrenal gland to release adrenaline and noradrenaline into blood circulation both of which raise the blood pressure and increase heart rate smoking is associated with increased incidence of cancers of lung urinary bladder and throat bronchitis emphysema coronary heart disease gastric ulcer etc tobacco chewing is associated with increased risk of cancer of the oral cavity smoking increases carbon monoxide content in the blood and reduces the concentration of the heme bound oxygen this causes oxygen deficiency in the body when one buys packet of cigarette one cannot miss the statutory warning that is present on the packing which warns against smoking and says how it is injurious to health yet smoking is very prevalent in society both among young and old knowing the dangers of smoking and chewing tobacco and its addictive nature youth and old need to avoid this habit any addict requests counseling and medical help to get rid the habit adolescence and drug or alcohol abuse adolescence means both a period and a process during which a child becomes mature in terms of his or her attitudes and belief for effective participation in the society the period between 12 to 18 years of the age may be thought of as adolescence period in other words ad- adolescence is a bridge that linking the childhood and adulthood adolescence is accompanied by several biological and behavioral changes adolescence thus is a very vulnerable phase of mental and psychological development of an individual curiosity need for adventure and excitement and experimentation constitute common causes which motivate the youngsters towards drug and alcohol use a child's natural curiosity motivates him or her to experiment this is complicated further by effect that might be perceived as benefits of alcohol or drug use thus the first use of drugs or alcohol may be out of curiosity or experimentation but later the child starts using these to escape facing problems of late stress from pressures to excel in academics or examination has played a significant role in persuading the youngsters to try alcohol and drugs the perceptions among youth that it is a cool or progressive to smoke use of drugs or alcohol is also in a way a major cause for youth to start these bad habits television movies newspapers internet also help to promote this perception other factors that have been seen to be associated with drug and alcohol abuse among adolescents are unstable or unsupportive family structures and peer pressure addiction because of the perceived benefits drugs are frequently used repeatedly the most important thing which one fails to realize is the inherent addictive nature of alcohol and drugs addiction is a psychological attachment to certain effects such as euphoria and a temporary feeling of well-being associated with drugs and alcohol this drive people to take them even when these are not needed or even when there is use becomes self destructive with repeated use of drugs the tolerance level of the receptors present in our body increases consequently the receptors respond only to higher doses of the drugs or alcohols leading to greater intake and addiction however it should be clearly borne in mind that the use of these drugs even once can be a forerunner to addiction thus the addictive potential of the drugs and alcohol pull the users into a vicious circle leading to their regular use that is the abuse from which he or she may not be able to get out in the absence of any guidance or counseling the person gets addicted and becomes dependent on their use dependence dependence is the tendency of the body to manifest a characteristic and unpleasant withdrawal syndrome if regular dose of drugs or alcohol is abruptly discontinued this is characterized by anxiety shakiness 
nausea and sweating which may be relieved when use is resumed again in some cases withdrawal symptoms can be severe and even life threatening and the person may need medical supervision dependence leads the patients to ignore all social norms in order to get sufficient funds to satisfy his or her need this result in many social adjustment problems also effects of drug or alcohol abuse the immediate adverse effect of the drug and alcohol abuse are manifested in the form of reckless behavior vandalism and violence excessive doses of drugs may lead to coma and death due to respiratory failure heart failure or cerebral hemorrhage a combination of drugs or their intake along with alcohol generally result in overdosing and even death the most common warning sign of drug and alcohol abuse among youth include drop in academic performance unexplained absence from school or college lack of interest in personal hygiene withdrawal isolation depression fatigue aggressive and rebellious behavior deteriorating relationships with family and friends prevention and control the age old adage of prevention is better than cure holds true here also it is also true that habits such as smoking taking drugs or alcohols are more likely to be taken up at a young age more during adolescence hence it is best to identify the situation that may push an adolescent towards the use of drugs or alcohol and to take remedial measures well in time in this regard the parents and teachers have a special responsibility parenting that combines with a high level of nurturance and consistent discipline has been associated with lower risk of substances like alcohol or drugs tobacco abuse some of the measures mentioned here would be particularly used for prevention and control of alcohol and drug abuse among adolescents first one avo- avoid undue peer pressure second one education and counseling third one seeking help from parents and peers fourth looking for danger signs five seeking professional and medical help thank you this i am winding up this chapter the next video we will be moving towards the next chapter the organisms and population